Engaging with an accredited educational institution would certainly give credibility with authenticity. That is exactly why we are connecting with the IDP Director of Sri Lanka, Mr. Ravi Chandra. Welcome to Talking Point. Thank you. Pleasure having you here. It is undeniable that ILTS is the globe's most opted test of English for migration. But getting oneself evaluated accurately is a question. Uh, th thanks for asking this question. Uh, it's not only for migration, even for study purposes, whereas people go for higher education. Okay? Uh, IELTS is the most trusted and credible English language proficiency test in the world. Okay? Uh, it's accepted more than 11,000 uh, uh, organizations across, uh, across 140 countries. Uh, these organizations include universities, training institutions, immigration agencies, and much more. Uh, the development of IELTS test follows a rigorous and robust process, uh, encompassing meticulous test design, development, and validation. These stringent procedures guarantee that every version of test maintains a comparable level of difficulty enabling consistent and valid results across diverse test administration worldwide. In an effort to reflect real uh, life language uh, usage in various global contexts, uh, IELTS content is uh, curated by accomplished test writers hailing from different English speaking countries. This multicultural uh, uh, approach ensures that the test remains unbiased and equitable catering to the diverse background and experience of all test takers. While the reading and listening sections have automated scoring, writing and speaking, which is the most important section, are corrected by expert and trained professionals uh, who ensure that all aspects of language proficiency are considered before uh, marking. As a result of these meticulous measures and unwavering un commitment to the quality, IELTS continues to serve as an impartial and accurate measures of language proficiency, empowering individuals, individuals to uh, pursue their academic and professional aspirations around the world. Its reputation as far as, as fair, unbiased and globally recognized language assessment instrument further enhances its uh, uh, standing as the perfect choice of those seeking to validate their English language skills. Don't you think since lately, most of the Sri Lankans are willingly connecting with IDP Sri Lanka for their examination? Absolutely. As we can see that in the last six years since we have uh, started our own operations in Sri Lanka directly by IDP IELTS, we have uh, you know, increased our market share leaps and bounds. And today we can proudly say that we compete with our competition at par. Also, the IELTS test questions, answering to your question, the IELTS test questions are meticulously crafted by teams of language specialists hailing from Australia, Canada, New Zealand, the UK and the US. These experts work collaboratively and other to the specific test uh, specification you know, that outline the key characteristics uh, of each of the four IELTS components, which is listening, reading, writing and speaking. Okay. These guidelines help maintain consistency and fairness across all test versions, all the four versions. Additionally, the writing process is carefully guided, ensuring the selection of appropriate material and the development of relevant and meaningful questions. While the reading and listening sections are marked automatically by the computers, the writing and the speaking sections are evaluated by highly trained examiners, as I said before. These examiners are certified professionals who undergo regular monitoring and standardization procedure to ensure adherence of IELTS marking criteria and uphold the test global standard of evaluation. The involvement of real individuals, individuals in the uh, marking process offers several distinct advantages such as human understanding, uh, flexibility, and uh, comprehensive uh, evaluation. Human examiners possess a deep understanding of language nuances, uh, enabling them to assess uh, candidates' uh, uh, candidates' response holistically and comprehend the context in 
the, which language is used. This ensures a fair and accurate evaluation of candidates' language proficiency. So, to be fair to all and each and every test takers across the globe, we follow this particular method. That's right. So, we were just discussing about how IELTS related questions are set by real people and marked by real individuals to give you a very clear picture with regard to your examination results. So moving on, education and skill migration has been an area of concern by many since lately. What are your perspective when it comes to the exposure of scope of education done overseas? Uh, you know, studying in different country uh, provides students with a plethora of opportunities. Uh, both in terms of personal growth as well as career development. Through an overseas academic environment, uh, individuals gain access to uh, access to a broader network, if I have to say, and diverse perspectives, uh, which can provide invaluable uh, for their future endeavors. Moreover, international internship uh, and collaboration present during this period can serve as a catalyst for accelerated career development. Furthermore, being part of a, a, a multicultural setting with educational institution fosters an environment of cultural understanding and empathy. Interacting with students from various backgrounds uh, cultivates a deeper appreciation for diversity and helps individuals become more compassionate global citizens. Beyond uh, academics, migrating to another country, uh, answering to your question, migrating to another country for education for work demands, adaptability and resilience. Okay. Uh, living in an unfamiliar environment requires individuals to overcome challenges and become self-confident and self-sufficient. Okay. And this process of self-reliance uh, 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 empowers them to handle different situations across the world and with confidence further enhancing their uh, personal and professional growth. Now, in addition to the self-development, uh, exposure to the new culture and societies sharpens uh, social skills and enhances one's overall personality. This ability to communicate effectively uh, and connect with the people in different walks of life is an invaluable asset in today's interconnected world. As a result, Overseas uh, exposure through uh, education and skill migration can be transformative experience. It opens up a wide range of opportunity, enriches one's understanding of the world. This equips uh, individuals with the skills and mindset needed to thrive in increasing, uh, increasingly globalized society in today's world. Embracing such uh, experience can lead not only to personal growth, but also contribute positively to the communities and industries they engage with throughout their lives. And that is why it's necessary to master the language where the international speaker speaks, absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely, that's absolutely right. True. During a period where an economic turbulence has been experienced in a nation, still, education should be prioritized. Please share your viewpoints with regard to the same. Uh, this is, I think, a fantastic question considering what Sri Lanka is going through in the last uh, 12 to 18 months of uh, economic crisis as well as followed by the pandemic. Uh, you know, prioritizing education during period of economic turbulence is not just a social responsibility, but also an economic necessity. By investing in education, a nation can develop its human capital, foster innovation, reduce inequality and lay foundation for a brighter and more prosperous future. It's essential for policy makers and stakeholders to recognize the long-term benefit of education and allocate resources accordingly, even in challenging economic circumstances. Certainly, yes. And educated education is uh, unmatchable. Absolutely. And you cannot definitely uh, look at avenues to minimize this pathway, isn't it? Absolutely. So that is the reason why we as IDP uh, uh, Education in Sri Lanka, we've been uh, present with our own operations for the last seven years now. Uh, we are coming out with a, uh, one of the largest uh, education fair mm -hmm. where we are going to be attracting most of the students mm -hmm. uh, seeking uh, studying abroad in the six English speaking countries, which is mainly Australia, New Zealand, UK, Canada, Ireland and USA. So that's when we are coming out with the biggest our education fair 
on 11th uh, uh, August in Kandy at the Grand Kandyan Hotel and on 12th uh, August at uh, Taj Samudra Hotel. This is specifically to cater the multi-destination uh, uh, environment, what we call as, which is for UK, Ireland, USA and Canada. So this will be followed specifically for our Australia, uh, which is the biggest market for uh, Sri Lanka, where in the year 2023 financial year. So Sri Lanka, uh, from Sri Lanka, almost about 5,800 students have opted to study in Australia, which is a big, big thing. And predominantly Australia and uh, Sri Lanka has a long, long relationship uh, for the past three decades. True. So to specifically cater to the need of these students who are aspiring to give eyes for their study purpose as well as for the migration to these countries. So we are coming out with our biggest ever event on 18th August at Candy at the Grand Candian Hotel and on the 19th August at, uh, uh, at the Galadari Hotel in uh, uh, Colombo. Colombo. This is only to cater to all these people who are in need of the hour in terms of getting their migration as well as for the study abroad option. And this is uh, I'm telling you, coming after the last event which we had in February, where we had the highest ever participating student coming in, which resulted in huge growth uh, uh, for Sri Lanka as well as for IDP. And a personality such as you stating the importance with regard to education. So, if we just leave the migration aspect aside, mm -hmm. even if you do get educated, once again you're going to save the nation, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And also, IDP has set a platform where it caters to convenience. There are many centers island-wide, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, being a global leader uh, in education, uh, in the international education specialist, uh, for the past 50 years we have been present, uh, our first and main objective of uh, uh, coming into Sri Lanka is to reach out to more and more people. Instead of they coming to us, we going to them. So we started with uh, one test center uh, in 2016 when we uh, started our operation. Mm -hmm. So today I can proudly say that we have 15 test centers across the island and we are catering to almost uh, uh, about 30,000 students in a year who comes and gives uh, IELTS test with us approximately. Mm -hmm. IELTS has been an examination which it strategizes and assists a candidate to migrate with convenience. So we were in discussion with Mr. Ravi Chandran, IDP Sri Lanka Country Director, who took us through the importance of mastering ILTS since it is a strategized examination. Thank you so much for connecting with Talking Point. Thanks a lot, Sapirna, for giving this opportunity. As well as uh, all the best to all of the viewers uh, who are looking there. So we are there to help you, support you, and guide you through your process of migration as well as study abroad. Thank you.